What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be on Season 3 of the Custom Expansion Team Draft League with the Jacksonville Thunder. If you've missed out on Part 1 and 2, go watch it now. But without that underway, we're going to be getting into who we've signed to come back or just in general. And our first signing here will be Kevin Shattenkirk coming here. We're going to be signing Logan Stanley to come here again. Tyson Jost is going to be coming back as a center. Nick Cousins will probably be playing in the AHL again. Anze Kopitar is going to be coming back. Thomas Tatar is going to come back. We might trade him. Alexander Nylander is coming back. Andreas Athanasiu is coming back. Robbie Fabry is coming back again. Alec Martinez is coming here. And our biggest signing out of all of them, Miko Rantanen, a 94 overall for $12.7 million a year. And now let's take a look at our team for the third year. On our first line, we've got Vladimir Tarasenko lining up with Connor Bedard and newly acquired Miko Rantanen during the free agency. This line will probably be the most dom I mean, it will be the most dominant line on the team, if not in the league. It's going to be crazy. And on the second line, we have Jonathan Marchessault paired up with Anze Kopitar and Ryan O'Reilly. They're getting old, so we're going to have to replace them soon because they're all in their at least lower 30s. And then on the third line, we have Jake DeBrusque paired up with Gaudreau and Paul Mary. And then on our final line, we'll have Athenas CU coming with Matthew Joseph and in that center position, Svechnikov. There was no changes for the defense, so I'm not going to show that. And we're just going to jump straight to the goaltending situation. In net, I hope Jeremy Swayman's going to be holding this down because I really don't think Subban can. So hopefully Swayman has a very good season. He was our backup goaltender last year for that Stanley Cup thing. We didn't re-sign. I don't know why we didn't re-sign our Stanley Cup goaltender, but we didn't. It was a stupid move on me. So now we're going to have Jeremy Swayman leading the way and Subban is the backup. And now we're going to sim through the first month of hockey and see how we're doing at the end of it. At the end of October, we're looking really good with an 8-1-1 one -one record. And now let's look at the stats for our players. Miko Rantanen is going to be the top point scorer on this team with 8 goals and 6 assists for 14 points. And on the defensive side, it's going to be Sam Girard leading the way once again for the defense. And our goaltending situation is looking great as well. Jeremy Swayman, 7 wins, 1 loss, 1 overtime loss with a 941 save percentage and a 154 goals against. But the backup, that's a different story. He's not looking very good at all with an 892 save percentage and a 3 goals against average. That's not too good. But at the trade deadline, we're looking pretty good. We're 43-17-3, and, and we're going to be making a big trade. We're going to be getting rid of a big $10 million contract and a player who's getting old and dropping in an overall for a young Patrick Laine worth an $8.7 million contract with a second-round pick we're going to be giving up. But that's all right. I think Patrick Laine will be good for Jacksonville in the future that we hold here. So now we're going to sim to the end of the season and see how we're doing then. So at the end of the season, we're looking good. We're 53-26-3, and, and we're definitely going to be in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Our top point scorer on the team is going to be Miko Rantanen with 40 goals and 40 assists for 80 points. And leading the defense is going to be Brandon Montour. And in that, it's going to be Jeremy Swayman leading the way with 47 wins, 20 losses, 3 overtime losses, with a 909 save percentage and a 256 goals against. And in the first round of the playoffs, we're going to be taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Should be an easy win, considering it's Toronto. In game one, we're going to be down in the series after the Toronto Maple Leafs net two goals in this game. But Toronto's going to be taking Game 2 in the series as well in a 5-2 victory. In Game 3, it's going to be a little different this time. We're going to win this one 4-3. And we're going to tie the series up at 2 even with a 5-4 victory. And in Game 5, 
Toronto's going to destroy us. They're going to get the shutout. And in Game 6, we're going to get the shutout. And it's going to be tied 3-3. In Game 7, we're going to do it. We're going to shut out the Toronto Maple Leafs and move on to the second round. And in the second round of the playoffs, we're going to be facing the Buffalo Sabres. And in Game 1, it's going to be similar to last time. And we're going to be losing 5-3 to be down in the series. And in Game 2... We're going to get another shutout, and we're going to be taking a tie. And in game three, we're going to be going into overtime with three apiece. So I forgot to recording issues on my end, but we did win that game, so we're going to be going 2-1 into game four. In game four, Buffalo's going to come back, and it's going to be tied two each. In game five, we're going to take a 4-1 victory, with two late goals. And in game six, we're going to beat the Buffalo Sabres, and we're off on our way to the conference finals. In the conference finals, we're going to be playing the New York Rangers. For the third straight series, we're going to lose game one, and we're going to be down 0-1 in the series. And in game two, we're going to get it. We're going to beat the Rangers 5-4. We're also going to take game three with a 3-1 victory, and we'll be up 2-1 to one in this series. And in game four, it looks like we might go back to the final, because we're going to be taking this one 4-2. And we're going to lose game five 6-2, and the series is going to be 3-2 us. And in game six, New York's going to complete the shutout, and they're going to be going to game seven. And in game seven, I don't know how we choked this, this is a Toronto Maple Leafs type choke right here, but we're going to be losing 3-1 to the New York Rangers. But with that, we're going to look at our playoff leaders, and it's going to be Anze Kopitar leading the way with 9 goals and 16 assists for 25 points. And on the goaltending side of things, Jeremy Swayman is going to be doing pretty good with a 908 save percentage and a 292 goals against. That's not bad numbers from him. After the New York Rangers beat us in Game 7 of the Conference Finals, they're going to go on to the Stanley Cup Final to get swept by the Edmonton Oilers. That's going to be all for the video today, though, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And Season 4 should be posted soon. I'll see you all later.